Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi my name is Alex. And for today's video, I decided to do a get ready with me because I'm going to be taking my lessons picture today. So I thought why not show you guys what I do for my makeup. So I'm going to go in detail about like every single product that I use and how I apply them. But yeah, I'm going to link every single product that I use in this video and we should go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I use is Aquaphor. I use this for my lips. And I feel like this is the only product that made my lips not cracked or anything. So I use this every day and as a lip balm. So I like carry this around with me. Even when I'm in school, I pull this out and like use it as a lip balm. For skincare, I use the Pharmacy Feeling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. I use a lot of pharmacy products. I love them. So I use two pumps and I just press it on my skin. And I also like kind of rub it down my neck as well. By the way, this product, the smell of it kind of throws me off a little bit. Next up, eye cream. I use the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. I'm like running out of this. So I just... <laughs> the struggle is real. And I just rub it in like that. Nothing crazy. So when I blend it out, I go outwards and then I massage it like out here i don't know <laughs> i am not a makeup artist or anything like that so it'll come for me i don't know what i'm doing so i'm gonna let those sit for a couple minutes and i'll be right back okay so everything is kind of set at this point so i'm gonna move on i'm gonna take this spf by lineage lineage i don't know how to pronounce it right but this actually doesn't give any white cast so it's perfect for pictures but yeah, you have to like put sunscreen on your face. Otherwise, ooh, my eyelash fell. You're gonna get wrinkles. I also just put it down my neck as well. Your neck is actually really sensitive. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, put sunscreen on. If you don't want to age faster, use sunscreen. That's what I'm trying to say. Next up, I am using the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. And I take about like that much. I just put it all over my face. I love this moisturizer. It's so hydrating. And I have really, really, I have like eyelashes falling everywhere. And I have really, really dry skin. So like anything that would help me moisturize my face, I'm all for it. Now for the makeup part. For primer, I use the Kylie Rae So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. This has collagen peptides. So this is actually a moisturizing primer. So it says back here, plumping hydrator, pore eraser, oil control, and makeup replacer. So we're taking about that much. And I just put this all over, not all over my face, but I just put it like right on my cheeks, around my nose, and on my chin, my forehead, and that's basically it. I don't put like any on my nose because I feel like my makeup slides off whenever I put primer there, which is weird. By the way, you guys, if you hear someone talking in the background, that's my dad talking to someone. So... FYI, this clip won't stay on my hair. I have so much hair. I should take my headband, but I don't really want to get up and get that. Okay, so I'm going to try the Hailey Bieber Kendall Jenner makeup thing. So you put like your liquid bronzer, liquid contour, whatever you want to call it, and then concealer underneath, and then you put foundation on top of it. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to do it. So I have the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Always Sunny. So I'm going to take a Real Techniques brush. This is a expert face brush, and I just like take it and then start contouring i'm gonna put a little bit down my nose i'm really bad at like cream contour when it comes to my nose so i'm just gonna put it randomly like that it looks a little weird right now but it's gonna look a lot better and then i'm gonna use a beauty blender and just blend it even more because i feel like the brush kind of leaves like a harsh line on my face so i like to blend it out with beauty blender for concealer i am using the nars radiant creamy concealer in vanilla i kind of like just put it on my face like that then i'm gonna take this brush by nyx I don't know what this brush is called, but like I'm just gonna buff everything out. By the way, you guys, I stipple it on. I don't rub it. Like I don't drag the brush on. I just like kind of stipple it into my skin. And then what's left on the brush, I just kind of put it like around my nose just to get the redness out. Now for foundation, I am using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and I'm in the shade, I cannot pronounce it, but I'll put it right here. <laughs> Since the concealer have already concealed most of the spots on my face, I'm just going to take a little bit of foundation. So I legit just take one pump. I used to take two of them and like put it on my face. But I just put like 
that much on and i just take the same brush that i use for concealer and i just kind of stipple it on my face to set everything in place i use this little triangle sponge thing i got it from amazon i got it for like a pack of 10 i'm pretty sure i will link it down below for you guys as well and i'm gonna take the laura mercier translucent face powder and i just this is like the mini version of it i really want to get the full size but haven't got around to that i just literally put it on like that and then smooth it out i don't bake my face so and then i also put it on the sides of my nose and i just kind of put it everywhere where my face is like shiny so like my chin and my forehead for bronzer i am using the charlotte tilbury um airbrush bronzer this bronzer is huge and i feel like it's gonna last me for a very very long time so yeah this one is in the shade medium the fair one is a little bit too light for me so i went a little bit darker and then i just take an angle brush and then i just put it like where i put the cream bronzer earlier i literally feel like i'm putting a lot on but i'm not and then for the nose contour i take the same bronzer with a little brush this is like a crease brush and then I just contour my nose so like I take it down like that it's gonna look a little weird at first but then you have to blend it out after then I also put this on my crease I have eyelash extensions by the way you guys so I don't put mascara or anything I just put bronzer on my crease especially right now I desperately need a fill I just put bronzer in just to darken it up a little bit and then i'm gonna take like a tiny little brush and just blend for blush i am using the rare beauty blush this is in the shade believe and this is like a little bit of a darker mauve color and i really like this color on me i also put it on top of powder i feel like it does blend out quite nicely with powder underneath i put two dots of that blush and then i use this little stippling brush and just stipple it on first and i just like to put this where my cheekbones are so like I'm not dragging it on like close to my cheek area or whatever. And then I put a little bit on my nose. And then after I blend that out with a brush, I take a beauty blender and just blend it even more. Now we're going to put more blush because I like to set my blush with a powder blush. So I'm going to take this Milani Big Blush in Luminoso with the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I really like this blush because it has a little sheen. Like I don't know if you can tell. The clips are bothering me so... We're back with the headband. Now moving on to highlight, I take the Merit Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Balm in the shade Bounce. This one has like a pinky undertone to it, which I really like. And then I just take a brush. I don't know where this brush is from. My sister-in-law gave it to me. And I legit just take the highlight on the brush and put it on the high points of my face. I'm not going to set it with powder highlight because I feel like it's going to be too overpowering with the picture and all that so i'm just gonna leave it like that and i think it looks good for brows i'm gonna take the merit beauty voluminizing pomade but it's their clear um eyebrow gel thingy whatever and i just put this on just to keep my eyebrows in place because i don't pluck my eyebrows like i don't know if you guys can see there's like little hairs like right there because i don't i don't pluck my eyebrows maybe i should so i let that set for a little bit before i fill it in my eyebrows so now i'm gonna do my eyes again i don't do eyeshadow or anything crazy to my eyes because i have eyelash extensions but i do put on a little bit of like liner underneath my waterline and i think today we're gonna do a wing because i don't know i feel like it's gonna be fun so i have this palette by maybelline it's called the nudes palette and i take this shade right here i don't really go for the black one that much other than if i'm going at like nighttime but i really like this so i just take it with this angle brush and i just like and then i just put this like underneath my lower lash line I don't know, just a tiny little wing. Now we're going to put mascara. I use two different mascaras. So I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Roller Lash by Benefit. So this one is waterproof. So I put this first and then I put this after just to kind of separate my eyelashes. This has been my lash combo for a while now. And I have been using these two mascaras before I even got my eyelash extensions. I just love these mascaras. So I'm going to put the Too Faced first and then Miss Roller Lash after. There you go. I take my bottom lashes quite seriously. I don't know why. I feel like it just completes the look a little bit more. And then I'm going to take a little spoolie and just comb out my lash extensions. Now for the brows. I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown with the angle brush. It's by Anastasia as well. So I just 
fill it up normally i don't usually fill up the uh, front part of my eyebrows but i kind of extend my eyebrows a little bit more because i have really really short eyebrows so like that i don't know how to describe it and then i just brush it out to make it a little bit more natural i do clean it up with this um flat brush by real techniques i think this is like a foundation brush but i just like use it to clean up my eyebrows and there you go that's the first eyebrow this eyebrow this is not the eyebrow that i like so this is gonna take me a while so i'm gonna do it off camera and then i'll get back to you guys i don't know my eyebrows took me a while to do i had to redo this eye because it didn't look the same to me but now i feel like they're okay but that's the entire face and now i'm gonna set it with max fix plus i love this stuff okay i guess we're not done with the face i need to highlight my inner corners i don't need to but i have to so i'm gonna take a tiny brush like this and just put it on my inner corners just to make me look a little bit more awake because we all know i didn't get much sleep for lips i'm gonna take this charlotte tilbury um love trap lip liner and i'm just gonna line my lips and then i'm gonna take max cream cup and then lastly i'm gonna take the fenty gloss balm in the shade fuzzy and there you go i think i'm ready to take pictures this is what i'm gonna wear i just have it buttoned because i'm cold but what do we think all right you guys so i finally got my driver's license and i'm sorry for my voice i'm actually kind of sick right now i'm like recovering but I don't know you can't really see but i'll insert a better picture right here i feel like i would like it a little bit better if i did my hair but i didn't because i just like to put my hair down but my face was good so that's all that matters but i'm gonna go ahead and close up this video because me off because it literally died but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys on my next video bye